I'm in a PvP world, I got 500 mil bounty, and I'm scared. Few weeks ago, I made a poll regarding the future of this series, and a strong majority wanted me to be able to return to old regions in PvP worlds. So that change starts now. Let me introduce Regioneers, my brand new hardcore Iron Man that unlocks the world of RuneScape one region at a time. However, once I leave a region, I can only go back to that region on PvP worlds. And if you kill me, you get the bounty on screen. Is it possible for me to reach Raids or Inferno? What bosses will I be able to complete? Subscribe to find out. This feels crazy, what do I actually do now? A brand new region to discover. Let's have a look at the map. What do we actually get here? Wait, we got God Wars Dungeon in this region. Okay, we got the Troll City, God Wars Dungeon, Bertho. We got Camelot Teleport Spot. <gasps> I didn't even know this. This must be a bug. We got the Ice Mountain, we got Falador and Trana. Interesting. Remington, Port Serim, uh, this dungeon right here. And I believe we got Pest Control as well, yeah. We got pest control as well. With the new rules, I'll be able to return to all regions in PvP worlds. And with every new region I unlock, I will increase the risk more and more. Farming is one of the skills I really want to train in this region because we have a lot of patches. We have one allotment patch right here, a tree patch right there, another tree patch, another tree patch, and another allotment patch. But for the early levels, we're gonna buy these bagged plants and make them in our POH. We take the plants to our house and we start making them. 31 experience per plant. This method is eating up my cash stack because it's so expensive. And 13 farming. This is probably the reason why I chose this region as my second one. Druidic Ritual. The quest that unlocks Herblore. And I come well prepared because I got all the raw meat from the last region so this quest will be easy. Druidic Ritual has been completed. 10 Herblore. The levels are gonna go up very very quickly doing this. These Chaos Roots in the Tablet Dungeon will be my way to obtain herbs for Herblore. Okay, we have a problem with this place. Getting back to the Chaos Roots is time consuming because I don't have the 5 agility for the shortcut, so I have to walk all the way around to the dungeon. But I discovered a way to get agility up in this area. You complete Black Knight Fortress and then you complete Recruitment Drive for 1000 agility experience and level 9 agility. Quest completed. The Herblore level keeps going up, that is 20. And while we're training Herblore, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Factor 75. Do you want to save time and alleviate stress? Factor can cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping so meals come together in minutes. Factor even offers meals for those looking to follow keto, low calorie or vegan and vegetarian lifestyle. Factor helps you reach your goals and if you're into fitness then it all starts with the food. Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious purposeful eating. And this is perfect for gamers. Factor's no hassle prepared food makes you always have something nutritious on hand when you don't have time to think about making lunch or dinner. Grab a smoothie or keto shake for a quick snack or heat and eat a chef quality meal in just two minutes with no prep or cleanup necessary. You can stay focused on what you love to do. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code PogEngineerJune50 for 50% discount of your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. It's time for me to get a meal upgrade. We want a strength amulet. And for a strength amulet, we're gonna need 50 crafting. 50 crafting! We can now make that ruby amulet. Make a ruby amulet. Use the ball of wool on the amulet. Use the spell on it. Little upgrade. Thank you very much. Isn't this very rare? A stale baguette from a quiz master, Mr. Bug? Hey, I got a baguette! I'm not gonna enjoy this, but we are here at the pest control. Massive upgrade to be obtained here, full void, but we can also purchase seed packs here. We're here with the dream team, right here. And we're gonna start off with the void knight top and the gloves. A few pieces more to go. In between the void grind, we are of course gonna do our farm runs. There is the farming. And that should be the last boat trip for now because we have a massive upgrade here. We can buy the two final pieces for the melee 
gear, the Void Knight Row Bottoms, and the Void Melee Helmet. This armor gives us a 10% damage boost, a 10% accuracy boost, and of course that's another 200 points, we're gonna unlock the Void Range Helm as well. A range switch is pretty nice right now. A maple short bow with add the arrows and full range void. A short break from pest control because we're gonna start AFK fishing. We're 28 fishing right now. We're aiming to go for 50. This took like no time at all. 40 fishing. Lobsters, here we come. 50 fishing. I'm gonna have so much food for the future. We got 700 lobsters, 200 trouts and salmons. We don't even have to worry about food anymore. And that is all our food cooked and 20 cooking levels later. It's time for us to start the mining grind and we need an upgrade a rune pickaxe and an add pickaxe dorix quest completed and that's 50 mining and we'll be getting a tiny little mining upgrade here prospector boots for a tiny xp boost whenever we're mining and speaking of boot upgrades this will be death plateau completed and we can now use climbing boots for a plus two strength bonus. One of my biggest upgrades in this area is the Dragon Defender. That's the reason why I got climbing boots. I'm gonna start working towards 65 attack, 65 strength so I can enter this guild. And with a real longsword, it's gonna be a long journey. 50 attack. I never thought I would get 10 agility from this little wall here in Falador. That's 70 combat for the pest control medium boat. So let's get that final Void Mage Helmet. And the Void Mage Helmet? Completed. We got some extra points here. We're gonna buy prayer experience for an upgrade for the four prayer We have now unlocked eagle eye 65 fletching for the yubo upgrade All right, it is time for us to enter the pvp world and I'm scared once we hop to a pvp world all the black tiles gets unlocked We're gonna do the quest lost city Keep in mind, it's been like six or seven months since I played a PvP hard primer, so it's kinda scary. You never know, someone could be hiding in the bushes for some reason. The Lost City has been completed. Dragon Longsword upgrade, Dragon Dagger upgrade. 60 attack. We can now use the Dragon Longsword and the Dragon Dagger. We can now enter the Warrior Skill with 64 attack, 66 strength. You know, as a throwback to the days of PvP Hardcore I man, we're gonna do this on a PvP world. Since I don't have any armor for the token scattering, I'll have to do these dummies. Pretty chill, you just switch combat style depending on what you are attacking. This is Crush out. I'll have to switch weapons. There it is, the first defender, bronze, iron defender. 29 kills later and we get a steel defender. <laughs> Two kills in and we got the Addy defender. Something I've realized is that there is no scout bots anymore in PvP worlds. I haven't seen a single one so far. I've been here for 10 hours. This is the first man I've seen and he can attack me. Cop that. Oh, it's finally happened. Dragon Defender. After 240 kills here in the lower basement, a total of 560 Cyclops kills for that Dragon Defender. But now the more dangerous stuff begins because we need to go back to the old region and complete a few quests for the future. But look at this bad boy, Dragon Defender. Completed. The Night Sword quest, we need to go to Varrock. So far, so good. No one's in Varrock Square. Night Sword completed. 33 smithing. I'm in the middle of nowhere. If someone for some reason would be here, then catch a TB on me. There's no escape. Ooh. Someone that could attack me was there. I haven't even been attacked yet and I'm panicking already. It's still there. There we go. Dig side quest has been completed. 51 mining, 25 herb lore. I didn't record this, but I just got a second stale baguette. I just know some collection log completionist is gonna hate me now because I got two stale baguettes already. 38 herb lore, we can now make prayer potions. I did realize that if I'm gonna survive PvP worlds and if someone attacks me, I'm gonna need a prayer potion to survive. I wanna complete the quest Troll Stronghold and for this quest we're gonna need 15 agility and there we go, 15 agility. That's the Troll Stronghold completed and the reason why I wanted to complete this one, this shield right here that he's holding, a drop rate of 1 in 128. Let the long grind begin. It happened, the granite chill is mine after 62 kills, a nice little defensive upgrade, very good for range defense, solid, I like this. 20 hours of fishing and cooking later, 65 cooking, we can now make our new best in slot food, pineapple pizza, back to PvP worlds with a full inventor of pineapple pizza, time to do some quests. 
a portion of interest. Uh oh, there's a scout bot. They are back. And there we go, a portion of interest completed. We can now use Spria as a Slayer Master. So I do believe these scout bots are only on high risk world. Yeah, it seems like the scout bots are only on high risk worlds right now. It's time for me to unlock the next region. I feel like I'm ready. So we're gonna move our house to Relica because we're going to the north. All right, I am ready. Teleport to my house. A new journey starts now. I'm gonna be honest, I came to this region to AFK rock crabs for a few weeks. But if we get 5,000 likes, I will increase my bounty to 600 million. And since I've unlocked a brand new region, I will increase the risk as well. But you'll have to subscribe to find out how.